Hey there, welcome to uh, ICOM ICR20 review. This is going to be a multi part review. We'll have uh, at least two, three parts uh, explaining different options. And of course, on this channel, you'll also have a complete manual, video manual, that will explain how it works, how to program it, and how to use it to its fullest. So if you uh, think that the manual is kind of hard to understand, well, you'll have video instructions on this uh, YouTube channel on how to use your ICOM ICR20 receiver. So the main features of this receiver, well, depending on where you bought it and where you live, you might have different options. So uh, it's not everywhere that the frequency range is the same. But basically, this is a full coverage communications receiver from 100 and um, I believe it's 150 kilohertz up to 3304.999 megahertz so 3.3 gigahertz receive uh, it's one of the rare receivers that actually goes higher than 2 GHz and so this is a nice feature for this uh, receiver so uh, you can actually punch in 3304.999 and here we are in um, the upper end of the receiver and if I continue I'll go down to the lower end at 150 kHz. So it uh, what comes with the radio basically in the box you've got a 94 page manual this is the manual that comes with my icon receiver um, parts of it are nice and well uh, well written some parts are more difficult to understand and actually um, an example is the uh, page where they talk about memory programming and scan edges it's kind of incomplete, it's not really easy to understand. That's why I'll make video instructions that you can follow here on this YouTube channel. And uh, what's cool is that you can review and look at the YouTube channel uh, every time you want. And what's also cool is that you can follow with your radio at the same time. So uh, look at these videos coming up on this channel. Uh, by the way, this channel is reserved and only for two receivers, two ICOM receivers, the uh, ICOM ICR8500 and the ICOM ICR20 portable receiver. So keep in mind that if you have one of those radios or if you're planning to buy one of those radios, this is going to be a great channel to uh, visit. Um, what else do you have? Well, you've got of course the receiver itself, nice, very nice receiver, very nice display. You've got the telescopic antenna, which is cool because it bends at two, place, two places. So you can actually lie the receiver down, and it's a BNC connector, by the way. And while your receiver is down, you can actually put the antenna uh, vertical thanks to the two little articulated uh, joints there. Of course, that's not the best of antennas that you can have for this receiver. There are much better uh, antennas. I personally prefer using a uh, special antenna I have here, which has a, uh, a multi-section antenna and is actually made uh, for a good uh, coverage. But there's lots and lots of antennas that you can actually buy. And no antenna will be good throughout the range. Don't forget that. You cannot go from 150 kHz up to 3.3 GHz with one antenna and think that it's going to perform really well everywhere. No antenna can really be that wide of a spectrum. Basically, if you have some ideas of what you want to listen to, um, having multiple antennas. I have about 10 antennas that I attach to this radio. Some for the hand bands, so the VHF and UHF hand bands. Uh, some for lower frequencies, so anything below 50 megahertz. I've got a really, really long whip. Uh, and also shortwave listening and uh, if you go higher well you've got different types of antenna I've got one for the uh, 450 to 490 megahertz range 
So depending on what you're going to listen to, you might want to have other antennas, but the one that comes with the radio is okay performer. Uh, nothing incredible, but it does the job, so don't be afraid. Uh, it's still pretty nice. Um, apart from that, what is cool on this radio? In the box, you have a power supply. It's a big, heavy wall work power supply that uh, will actually power your radio from 120 or 240 volts, depending on where you're in the world. It comes with a battery pack. It's the BP206 battery pack. It's a lithium ion battery pack that you can actually recharge with uh, the power adapter. So uh, a full charge takes about five hours. And this is a uh, nice add-on. So it has a battery pack included. But in the case where your battery pack's dead or you need to power it up in some other way, what is really neat is that ICOM actually gives you a little plastic tray that you can put three AA batteries and substitute your internal lithium ion pack for AA batteries. So it's good in uh, if you're doing, for example, the expeditions, camping, or you're going somewhere where electricity is gonna be hard to come by. Uh, what's nice is that AA batteries are easy to find almost everywhere and um, they're not too expensive. So, if your lithium ion pack is actually at zero level, well, you, you can power your radio with regular AA batteries. So that's pretty nice. And uh, of course, when the uh, battery runs out, the pack the, that comes with it, uh, well, if you don't want to buy a new lithium ion pack, it's um, pretty cool because you can just continue using it using AA, rechargeable AA batteries, which is pretty nice. The original battery pack gives you a pretty long usage. Uh, I've used it all day long without even having the battery pack saying that the batteries are getting weak. So the battery, the lithium ion battery pack that comes with this radio is pretty good. Of course, the power saving mode of the scanner makes it really, really good. And so basically that's about it, what you have in the box. Um, one of the other a uh, little thing that you have to watch out for is that the very nice display is kind of a little bit on the outwards and so it's easy to scratch it so um, I would add if you want to have a clean scanner that a nice uh, little jacket to put it in would be probably uh, pretty nice I know ICOM sells one uh, that is a specifically made for the ICOM ICR20. Uh, maybe uh, I'll look at that, but maybe some other uh, companies actually sell these uh, little sleeves and jackets where you can uh, put your scanner in and uh, actually protect the radio itself uh, from wear and tear and especially that display that's really nice and that actually can be quite easy to scratch and I already scratched it slightly so uh, it's not always easy so this is what comes with the box this is the receiver you get the antenna and all and so look for part two of the receiver well we'll, uh, we'll look at the different options that come on the radio and also look at all the um, buttons and a quick look at what they do so, look for part two coming up and uh, on the channel. So this is the first look at the ICOM ICR20 receiver. In part two, we'll have a look at the different functions and also um, the general uh, reception, I would say reception conditions and um, how well it performs. So uh, if you enjoyed these videos, click the subscribe button. You'll be informed of videos we put online. Since there's going to be many videos just for the ICOM ICR20, if you like that receiver, if you own one, or if you're planning to buy one, I think that subscribing to our channel is going to really be a must because you'll have lots of videos to go through. And so, and we'll have lots of videos about reception of different signals on this radio also. And of course, um, if you have any comments or questions, 
let us know. We'll try to answer all questions uh, as best that we can. So thanks for watching in 73s and look for part 2 where we'll look at the features and the reception quality of this radio. 73s.